How's it going guys, Max here. So, we have new renders for the upcoming iPhone 13 or iPhone 12 S. So, let's just dive into it. Though I'm not sure if it will be called the iPhone 13 or 12 S series, we have been receiving some rumors over the past few days about the specs of the device. And today we have a new concept video by Technizo Concept. I'll leave a link in the description via Let's Go Digital where we see the device with some of the rumored specs flying around. Starting with the notch, we can actually see that it's quite smaller than the previous one that was unveiled with the iPhone X. And this is good because people have been complaining that uh, the notch is outdated, this and that. Though it would have been uh, better if we saw an under display camera in it like most smartphone companies are moving towards but this is actually what we get. And uh, next we have this new camera setup with the uh, camera modules below the lens unlike uh, the ones we saw on previous iPhones and I really prefer this design because uh, it also looks similar to that of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And over to the display, we actually hear leaks that Apple will finally opt for a 120Hz LTPO display that other Android companies have actually had for at least 2 years. If you're loving this video, a sub to the channel would be sky high. But the catch there is that it's only coming for the Pro models, meaning that the base iPhone 13 or iPhone 12s may have the standard 60Hz display. And under that display, we see the rumored return of the Touch ID in form of an under-display fingerprint sensor. And uh, last but not least, we see a device with no ports. And uh, leaks are saying that um, there may be one device that won't come with ports. So that means that either the base model of the devices or the Pro model users will actually be forced to buy the MagSafe charger. Well, of course, this is actually my opinion. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.